as Russian troops is being hurt by a strong top-down command, flexibility and reality of front lines are missed, as Russian tactics has been carried out as a heavily reliant on unguided artillery and rocket in mass, this not only misses target, it also hits target which has no military value. This requires vast amounts of resources which strains logistical supply. This logistical chain becomes far more vulnerable for targeting as any interruption halts most of the operation. As Ukraine was given the capability to hit Russian troops further back, Russian logistic and thereby their troop started to struggle badly. But as the top heavy command structure that exists in the Russian army repeats the same mistake as of instead doing a tactical retreat behind the upper river, which acts as a great defensive line, Russia seems to again double down and send more conscript over the river. Ukraine which has denied Russia a safe and fixed crossway over the river has targeted these cross points periodically most notably Antonovsky and Kahovka bridge, but Russia's idea to build a pontoon bridge under or next to Antonovsky bridge, made up by barges, became stupid quickly, as the hollow barges most of the time can be sunk with a single hit from GMLRS rocket, the vulnerability becomes apparent. However, this risk doesn't seem to have gone all the way to the top as Russia keep replacing destroyed barges multiple times. As Russia recently after months of work started to finish the connection point, Ukraine launched and sunk a single barge, closing any cross capability of the bridge. But as Russia's command kept putting pressure, a quick replacement took place. Now as Russia is reinforcing the flank, Ukraine has no reason to let the cross point be open. So just as the pontoon bridge was just finished and transport during the night started, intel and a quick launch was partially filmed as at least two GMLRS rockets hit the pontoon bridge during a crossing. This exact timing showcased a trap in the work. This level of targeting tens of kilometers away display impressive coordination and intel from Ukraine. To target and hit at these distances show how advanced and quick Ukraine's army can work as Russia keeps trying to do the same thing over and over again hoping for a different result. They will most likely keep trying to repair the pontoon bridge over and over again just as they tried with Antonovsky bridge until after multiple times the structural damage became too large to repair. The pontoon bridge is however much more vulnerable than Antonovsky bridge, which could handle dozens of attacks before needing to be seriously repaired. The barges which are around 11 meter in width or 36 feet and multiple times longer can be targeted by GMLRS rocket which have a hit accuracy of around 2 to 5 meters as Russian SAM system have far too low interception rate, as little as a single GMLRS rocket can take out the pontoon bridge out of action until repaired. As Ukraine has multiple HIMARS and MLRS system within range, the hopeless situation for Russia should be apparent. But as the order from the top keeps rational tactic from being implemented, which result in resources and troops taking the consequences. That's all I have for this video. Please like and subscribe for more. Thanks for watching. Bye.